Welcome everyone, we are building a CLI in Rust. In this episode we will take care of understanding something very important in any programming language which is reading from a file. We already have a file, we want to open that file in some ways we will see multiple implementations and then we want to read for example the whole file or maybe line by line and this is a standard procedure in many programming languages. Let's start and of course let's create a new Rust project. How can we do this? We can type cargo new Rust files. Okay, we step into this directory, then we open this with any IDE we want, like this. Today I can type, <laughs> so it will be hard. Let's learn how we can read from a file in Rust, okay? It's not uh, rocket science, we will have uh, three different versions. So, version 1, first of all we import from the standard library this fs, which stands for file system, and then file. From the input output, we can import self and read. I made a video about the use keyword. If you are curious, so for example, of this, uh, this syntax, how we want or we can import stuff from, from libraries. In this case, I don't need to add anything in the cargo.toml file because this is a standard this is standard library we will do everything inside this main function open the file so we need to open the file store this into a string and then read the string and if we want we can also print this on the console but that's not needed so to open the file we can do let mute file open define a name for a file for example foo.txt and then something like this we need in the main function here to return in this case an input output result the main function can also return something then we can initialize a simple string we'll, we'll store this in a simple string let mute content string new then we can read the file content and then we can use this this is the important part probably <laughs> so if you if you're familiar with reading from files uh, this is what you need so this read to string method like this and if we want we can also print the content on the console and then we can return okay cargo run here bam we get an error process didn't exit successfully the problem here is that the system you see the system cannot find the file specified so the program actually crashes because it doesn't find this file this should not be the normal behavior but it was just a, just a test so let's create this file foo.txt and inside this file we can type like and subscribe okay a random string Let's try this again here, cargo run. And in this case, you can read here, like and subscribe. We are reading from this file, which is at the root level in this case, and we are just storing this inside a variable. We will use this in our CLI project in the upcoming videos. So let's do now version, version 2 of this one. Let's remove this. Let's do version 2. With a, basically we want a better error handling in this case we don't need to return something from the main because we will use an external function okay if you want a lesson about function i will leave a link in the description read file to string this is the name of the function file name of type str which is a string slice and then here we can return a result normal result here a result in this case it can have a string or an input output error then we can put the the body of the function let's remove this t which is because it's a typo and then basically we do something very similar of what we did before we define a, a variable that uh, gets the file then we define some contents and we read the string and then we return the, the contents from this uh, function okay and then you can see here it's complaining read to file is never used because in the main function we want to call this function and use it and what's the the best way to do that there can be different ways my favorite way is to use a match statement i really love this approach 
we can have here something like this read to file with that returns an okay error if you want to a lesson about an edge statement i have a specific lesson try to run this one we get we still get the error the system cannot find uh, the file the file is specified it exits okay but uh, the problem is that here we named the file hello.txt so let's rename it as foo.txt let's try again and now we get again like and subscribe so the program exits anyway okay the difference is that in this case we don't get uh, an error so for example here we could handle the error in a better way so in this uh, very simple implementation it still exits because <laughs> the program is actually done here but for example here i can for example create a loop or something else to try for example again and this is what we will do when we we'll implement this uh, in the cli the last version that i want to try is uh, reading a file line by line to read the line by line i list i will use just the main function buff read because we want to read line by line so buff reader we can remove this for now and return io result define a file here file open and then it's not input is full yeah and then we can have this reader which is a buff reader for the file and then we can use for example a for loop so for line in reader lines we can have let line equal line and then we can print this out and then we can do this is okay so we can use this for loop and then we can read line by line in this case i want to change something here please buy okay so i put them line by line cargo run we are reading, also printing out the lines uh, line by line. We are using this for loop uh, to print uh, each line. Okay, and this is the end of this uh, very simple lesson about uh, reading from a file. I think that reading a file from Rust is kind of straightforward because Rust is meant to do these uh, lower level things. So you see, we can just use something from the standard library. Of course, that might be more complicated examples our goal here it was just to understand a couple of uh, functionalities so we can implement this in the upcoming cli project we started the cli project in the previous video so in the next video we will get the input from the cli probably from the file and then we will manipulate and we will do something with that input see you in the next video thank you so much